3.15 in the morning. I just had a Soylent with oatmeal. It's not really cold right now. So I'm not sure if I'm layering right, but once I um, hike up, it's gonna well get warmed up, so I don't wanna sweat too much. So, um, until the sun comes up, uh, see ya. So I um, hiked up to here in Lone Pine Lake yesterday, and then, um, it's been an hour and a half, pretty much the similar time um, as I took to come up here yesterday and I feel great so far. So I'm just gonna keep going. There are a lot of people on the trail, so I guess that's a good sign. Morning! Headlamp, no headlamp. Entering the Whitney zone. Special permit required. Sunrise over the ridge. And that uh, that light is the other hikers coming up. <sighs> so it's 6.15. It's been uh, three hours since I started. It's really good so far. I feel great. I guess I'm almost halfway done. Oh, they're getting close. Yeah, and that sunrise and this iPhone headlamp or flashlight is doing great for me. It's working perfectly and now that the sun is out, I don't have to carry this anymore. Which is even better. But getting harder to breathe Whew. look at that sunrise absolutely gorgeous the sun is finally coming up and it's 6 40 God, there was a lake. That's crazy. Look at this. Holy moly. Didn't show up. Oh my God. That's amazing. Beautiful. Glacier and the lake. Glacier Lake. Glacier Lake. Look at the glacier. Glacier. And there's glacier. And that's glacier. And apparently these glaciers are the southernmost um glaciers that are located in the United States. Um, yeah. So that itself is pretty amazing too. Oh. What? Oh. I thought there was someone on the cliff. They got the backpacking permit and do an overnight, do an overnight hike. And it seems like this is actually a perfect place to, for camping. I guess this is designated kind of a designated place for camping because the rocks are huge and you can actually see the some of the summits from here. Uh, uh, I'm gonna find out why no camping behind the sign. What does that even mean? No camping. And, oops, this is the rock. I'm gonna find out why it's the coldest just before the sunrise. Not even like 2 p.m., 3 p.m., but just before the sunrise is the coldest time. There's this thing. I don't wanna 
wakes them up. And you see what they are? Those, the cans, they are the bear canister. That's to um, prevent bears to come get the food in their tent. And the canisters need to be set like a certain feet apart from the tent camping site. I don't know, I think I'm almost there. We'll see. Did this app, All Trails app, shows um, where I am on the trail even though I don't have any signals. Oh, there are so many peaks, I don't know which one is a Whitney. This is my breakfast. And a stinger gel. Kids me going. Now I'm making a little side trip to the glacier because I wasn't able to actually step on the glacier but now I am stepping on them oh my god this looks like a snow but this is a solid ice solid ice right there whoa it's gonna be a hell of a slide from here to there oh by the way this is the permit that I purchased for $25 and so far it's been worth every dollar I'm now at 12,640 feet and there's this giant ice block on the trail and they, these um, safety lines they don't look safe at all. I don't know what may that maybe like the giant rock fell down from the top of the cliff and then pew who knows? It's been four hour and thirty minutes and I'm still going strong. Everything's fine. Energy levels fine. Actually pretty high. And my asthma inhaler kind of helped in the beginning to help me keep breathing. Yeah. So I almost made it to the ridge line, which is right there. And then I'm going to go back to these ridges, ridges and then climb up there, 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 there. And then that's not the, mo well, the mountain, that one behind it. That one's the peak. But it's 13,550 feet up here right now. And this is literally the fastest pace that I can walk. If I try to walk a little bit faster, I'm out of breath. And I'd rather keep slow and steady up to that peak. I'm a little bit hungry, but I don't have any appetite. I have a lot of picky bars, protein bars, and a sandwich that I made last night. And then, uh, what else do I have? Like a trail mix, because this was supposed to be like 12 hours hike. But so far I only had, I only had a uh, group, Goo gel and honey stinger gel. Look at that peak. The shape is so gnarly. I'm entering Sequoia National Park. Trail Crest and John Muir Trail. So I've hiked 8.7 miles so far. But my Sunto says um, 
12.9. I got 1.9 miles to go to the peak of Mount Whitney. Do it. Bum, 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 It's barely like 9 in the morning. It's been 6 hours. So I'll just take it slow and keep going. So far I haven't seen any hikers yet. Hopefully someone appears sooner or later. So that actually was one of the longest 1.9 miles in my life and now I'm tired, sleepy, and even like talking is hard. I don't want to hold my camera. And then now I started to breathe like this because I figured the more air I breathe out the more air I can breathe in and I see someone down the trail with the red jacket oh my god there are two people there Oh, glad to see them there. Huh. They are coming right there. Yep. This is a tough trail. I'll see you guys at the peak. But it's super warm, there's no wind. And I'll take that. Guys, come on up, hurry. We got a long way to go. So let's go to the peak. Hiking proceed. Oh, headache, nauseous, and breathe back again like what? I'm going crazy. Look at these gnarly rocks. My guess is the lightning just cracked them in half and half. Look at that. I thought that's some kind of a cotton, but it seems like that's another patch of ice. Thankfully not on the trail, but right next to the trail. Ice number one. Hi. Oh, it's cold. Ice number two, three, four, five, six. Gee, you guys are must be super cold. Worst two miles ever. So there actually is a, some kind of shelter that protects people from, I don't know, sunlight, lightning, wind, rain, who knows, or just to, a place to sit inside. But I am so excited to get in there. So much random stuff here. You know, in South Korea. Top, top, top to the peak. So that was.
wasn't actually at peak, and now I'm heading to the peak. So, I'm... oh, uh, are you coming from LA? No, from Korea actually. Oh, wow. Korea. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> There's some mountains in Korea, right? Do you happen to know why all these rocks are like broken into pieces? No. <laughs> no idea. Lightning. I don't know how the hell it works. Right? Just, just the whole thing. I don't know how. how I don't know how. Uh, <laughs> this type of, so kind of stable. peak is like the first time ever. There were so many loose rocks, mm -hmm. but they were really so stable, big. I yeah, I think I to, there's some areas where you're like, you fall. Yeah, <laughs> and you're dead. <laughs> we met six hours ago. Nice. Yep. I've been thinking about her. Yeah, what were you guys saying? Oh, that's a cool picture. <laughs> Just don't jump. <laughs> Hopefully going down is much easier. Yeah, well. Yeah, I prefer going up. Like four hours? <laughs> Frozen lake. I spent a fair amount of time at the summit um, trying to um, get some rest before going down for hopefully four hours just around the corner. Good. How are you? Good, how are you? Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. Told a couple. Hey. They're like, let's have fun. Okay. So I was like, oh, okay, we can go out tonight. So I'm like, yeah. uh, how far are we? About a half mile, some of that. Yep. Uh, I'd say at least 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That's all right. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. Is that's... there a steak dinner up there for us? <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a cabin up there. Ooh. Cabin. Yeah. Have fun. So where did you start? Uh huh. That's how close I was to Mount Whitney. So how long were you in on the road on the trail? Um, I started August twenty-eight. What? So, so that's like two two months. two months. Two months so far. It has. I'm actually going a lot faster than most PCT hikers. Uh huh. And it's mainly because all the the resort towns have been closed. Yeah, so they I are. Had the opportunity to stop, stop. and, <laughs> and then. And, you know, exactly. I was on the glacier and the Mount Rainier up top of the Washington area. Uh -huh. And it, it's so cold, everything's closed. Yeah. I wasn't able to spend too much time there. Yeah. Yeah. So, usually what happens during the summer is PCT hikers go into these towns and they're so much fun uh -huh. that they stay there for a day, two days, three days. Yeah. And then they and get then... back on trail. But since they're closed, I don't have the opportunity to stop, so I just keep going. <laughs> That's amazing, so. though. Yeah, when we were down there, he was telling me it was called Guitar Lake, and I couldn't see it. I was like, <laughs> no, why can. do they call it that? But from up here, it totally does yep. look like a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> the lakes above the mountains are so beautiful with the reflections. Yeah, and the water has been so, like, clean. Uh -huh. Not this water, but when you go down, and the water that's flowing off this, like, glacier melt mm -hmm, mm -hmm. has been so clean, I haven't even had to, like, filter my water. No. It's been nice. Just drink it right out of the stream. <laughs> I was just struggling, kind of, but then... This guy passed by me and gave these cliff gels. Thank God. He gave me one and then two and then just gave the whole pack because she has said he's got a bunch. So I told him he got like two miles left of the trail. And also that PCT girl that I just met started August 29th. It's almost her two month on the trail. That's that's just crazy. I don't know if I can do that. But 
Thanks for the gel, dude. I made it back to the trailhead and this the top is only the halfway never underestimate the sand oh my god it was the longest descent ever but I'm really glad that I did this trail and it, I also met a lot of good I also met a lot of good people on the trail but one tip is that don't spend too much time on the peak oh my god i'm so tired my feet are screaming and then mount whitney trail i don't know when i'll see you again but until then peace it was a great 14 hours for reals head on the trail Half of the trail mix, one full of the trail mix, one full picky bars, and three energy chews, and one um, one bar, and then honey stinger gel and goo gel, and then I don't know why my hands are so sausagey. Thank you.